So hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. I'm trying my best here to not say bad things about myself. So just keep that in mind. I'm trying to do my best not to... Uh, I need to love myself, so... I, and I don't. I usually don't. But I'm trying. I'm trying here. Um, so what, what, what are we talking about? What are we talking about today? So to, one of the things I wanted to talk about is actually some things that I need to do personally um, to make things work. So I've been doing this training thing off and on, uh, you know, I, last week, um, you know, I, I took a couple days off, um, you know, and it sucks because, uh, you know, with time that I was sick and, uh, it just hasn't been, I, I haven't been doing the best. Okay. I, you know, I could be doing more. Um, yeah. When we go to the gym and when we go to the Y, we, we do get a lot out of it. Um, but I need to do more. I need to do more. Uh, my So my goal right now is to try to go to the gym at least once a day. Uh, rather it be the Y if I'm going swimming, which I swim a lot. Uh, and I'm also been practicing while I'm in the pool. I have these uh, dumbbells that I only got to use a couple times. Uh, but usually, you know, I'm, I'm shadow boxing in the pool as well as working on my footing. Um yeah, I think I'm getting better at it. I think I'm doing a little bit better. I could be way better. Um, and, you know, Chad's training right now. Um, and I haven't been able to hold up my bargain of the deal to meet up with him uh, to do more. And, again, it has a lot to do with, you know, the last couple of weeks with, you know, being sick, uh, you know, work, which... You know, I, today I, I get a day off, like, which is weird. Uh, and I, you know, I, I don't really like taking days off, but uh, it was a day off that they wanted me to take because I had a lot of overtime. But yeah, I mean, I, I need to do obviously do better than what I have been, um, especially when it comes to the dieting part. So, you know, you can exercise all you want. You can do you know all the boxing all the weightlifting but when you don't put the right things in your body which i'm really bad at um i love food obviously <laughs> obviously i love food and food is like a coping mechanism like oh man i'm sad i'm gonna eat this bag of chips i've been trying to do a little bit better with what i eat uh with varying de degrees of success um, you know, sometimes I'll just go back and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to eat this, uh, cake and, uh, you know, down this diet Mountain Dew, which, you know, I, I, I drank some more soda, which I shouldn't be. Uh, I don't drink, I, when I drink, I usually drink diet anyways, or zero sugar. Um, yeah, I love the taste of it and I've always have and the caffeine and stuff, but obviously any type of soda you put in your mouth is bad for you. So today, what I'm going to do is start on the keto diet. Now, I used to have pretty success, uh, successful thing with like the Atkins diet back in the day. Um, you know, right now, <laughs> well, as of last week, I stepped on the scale and I weighed 311 pounds. And now it's from 320. So, you know, I stepped on there this morning uh, and it says 314. Um, and yesterday I ate stupid stuff. Uh, we didn't get any uh, training in at all. We was going to go to the Y uh, to, you know, do some swimming and stuff like that. But uh, they shut it down due to lightning strikes. So you couldn't swim. So they shut it down, which sucks. Um, but, you know, I, I, I got to practice a little bit on Friday. Um, and I think we did a little bit on Saturday, but I'm, I'm not sure. I don't remember. My memory sucks, by the way. Um, but yeah, I need to change the way I eat. I eat junk. Um, it's not going to help. I mean, I can do this all I want, like fight and train and run and swim. And it's not going to help if I'm constantly going to shove uh, bad shit in my mouth. Um, and yeah, I need to stop that. Obviously, I need to stop doing that. Um, in the next few weeks, you know, it's going to be crazy. Uh, how hectic things are getting. So if you guys don't know, um, Miss Bits and I were getting married. We're supposed to get married in October. Um, we might change that. We might get married earlier. 
So one of the things we was originally planned was actually planning for this big wedding at a church uh, with food, costumes, all that stuff. And, you know, I, I always wanted a big wedding, but, you know, talked about it a little bit over dinner and, you know, we figured maybe instead of doing some big wedding, why don't we just go, our original plans is go to the courthouse, get married and use the money that we was going to use for this wedding and use it to go towards a road trip uh, honeymoon thing. Which is pretty cool. It's actually a really good idea. Um, you, you know, I you know, I always thought about the formality of weddings, and you know, part of me always wanted that, but I don't. I, I think I think I sh we shouldn't do that now. Like now that we've talked to people and got opinions, and I, I think it's a good idea just to have our have our thing at the courthouse because at the end of the day, we're going to be married. Uh, and we're going to have a good time for our honeymoon, which is great. I'm excited about that. Really excited because I'm excited to see her in her dress. So I'm going to dress up and go to the courthouse. You know, we only have a couple people show up just to do that. But um, yeah, I, I, I really think that maybe going that route will be more beneficial to us than uh, going to be stressed out and like it, it 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 feels like prom i don't know if you guys went to prom back in the day like you get all dressed up and sweaty and stressed out and you have to find a place to get your dinner and you i you know i don't want to do that now like i think it would be a better idea if we uh went that route anyways um just to save money and time and the stress but yeah, that's that's where we're standing on that. Um, hopefully, within the next week or so, hopefully, um, one of the things that I'm uh, also looking forward to is a promotion at my job. Um, you know, I you know, I started there in I think it was March, I think February or March, and you know, right now I'm a subcontractor, and I make pretty good money right now. I do. Um, you you would never know because it, which another thing I really need to stop doing is buying stupid shit. Um, but I'm getting ready to get a promotion at work, um, which will have benefits and be more permanent, a uh, little bit more money, uh, which is awesome. Money's fun. Um, so that's something we're looking forward to. And I can, I've been kind of stressed out about it because, you know, I worry about, you know, I get a lot of things like ripped from me. So, uh, I, I'm trying not to, I'm just trying not to get too tied into it because if I do and it's something fucks up, then, you know, I'll be less disappointed because usually when things fall apart, that's when I fall apart and uh, I don't want to do that again. So, but there's a lot of good things happening. A lot of good things. You know, we got to fight with Chad and Sweetie uh, on the 24th. You know, Miss Bits and I, we both have our tickets ready. We was able to get second row. Um, you know, we get to meet, meet a lot of uh, awesome YouTubers, which is awesome. I'm excited about that. I'm hoping after the fact, after if, you know, people are feeling like it, we can all just go out and eat or have a drink or something and, and you know, have a bit of a roundabout talk. Um, so that that's that. You know, I there's like right now, I mean, like I said, it's, you know, I got to take care of myself mentally, physically, which that includes exercising and eating right. You know, I got the exercise part down, sort of. Um, I'm not the best. Uh, and, you know, yeah, I should still be doing something when I'm sick instead of just laying there or anything like that. I should be doing more. But, you know, we're getting ready to get a place, uh, Miss Bits and I. Yesterday, we picked up a... A heavy bag system that had a speed bag. It's a really nice Everlast thing that was looking at and got it for a hundred dollars less than what we was actually going to get. So we're definitely in this. We're definitely in in for this. Now I don't know if Josh is still interested in it or not. I, I think he is. Um, and let me go ahead and say too, I I don't hate Josh. This isn't me fighting Josh because I dislike Josh. I think Josh is cool. You know, you, you hear things on the internet about people and, you know, 
you know, for a moment, yeah, I kind of question myself and kind of question him. But, you know, I, I'm just going to take some of these rumors as, with a grain of salt and judge him from how I know him now. And I've only got to talk to him a few times. Um, you know, I've seen him. I, I watch his channel. And, you know, he does things I don't necessarily agree with, but it doesn't make him a bad guy. He's not ripping people off, taking their money, for, you know, from grieving people and hurting them. Like, I just think, you know, if Josh and I do, do this, we just have fun, uh, possibly beat each other's face in for charity, uh, a suicide awareness. I, I'm hoping we could do NAMI. Uh, that's what I want to do. I'd like to do NAMI, some type of mental health thing. Um, you know, a lot of guys, they, they have the St. Jude thing, which is great. Uh, St. Jude is awesome. Um, but to me, my big thing is mental health. And I think if we do this fight, whenever it's going to be, I'm hoping maybe next spring or in the summer, uh, that gives us plenty of time to, uh, straighten ourselves up, clean our acts up. But there's a lot of things that are going to happen between now and then. Um, but I think it'll be great. Um, see a transformation in me uh and hopefully a transformation in josh because i you know i'm assuming he's going to be training too um but you know this gives us plenty of time to find a promoter uh advertise it uh do more with it than just a regular fight maybe do some something awesome with it it'd be kind of cool just to do you know have local or uh, other youtubers come in to do this like the creator clash on YouTube. It'd be amazing. Like get some special guests and stuff like that. Um, that's what I would like to do. Like just some other YouTubers to come in, uh, you know, people from the area or surrounding whoever would want to be a part of it uh, and do this and do it all for a good cause. Have fun, be friends, punch each other's face in, hopefully not get knocked out. Uh, and at the end of the match, you know, bump hands and still be bros. I think that's cool. I think it'd be amazing just to do that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I don't want to take up any more of your time. Um, I'm going to try this week to try to get a stream or two in. Uh, and I'll also try to get another video or two out. Uh, we'll still be doing some shorts, which the shorts are actually fun to make. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, feel free, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit, drag your hands. And hit that like button. You know what I mean? Just, you know how to do it. You guys know how to do this, obviously. <laughs> I, I don't have to, I don't have to show you. You guys know. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, no matter what side of the coin you're on, you're welcome here. Uh, feel free to reach out to me. Even if you hate me, you're welcome here. I don't care. I just think, uh. You know, if you want to have a safe place and not get ridiculed, uh, I think we have a pretty awesome community here. But I'll talk to you guys soon. See you later.